Hi guys, in today's video we talk about the rise of modular homes, but before we start make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Building modular homes has emerged as a leading solution to many of the housing problems facing the UK and Europe. Increasingly popular in many countries across the continent, UK construction firms are also turning to modular housing as a cheaper, faster, and more eco-friendly alternative to conventional buildings. We examine the argument that these advantages will lead modular home building to take its place as the new normal. We consider its benefits to construction firms, homeowners, and government entities, and envisage a future where modular housing is a dominant player. Modular construction is a way of building through the use of modules that are constructed in a factory and assembled on-site. Modular units can be used for any type of application, from entire houses to apartments to site huts, and more recently, home offices. In fact, the pandemic has seen a big increase in the demand for modular building. Arthur O'Brien, Managing Director of C Plus W O'Brien Architects, one of the leading modular design architects in Ireland and Europe, says, modular building has always been around. However, in light of recent discussion regarding significant increases to traditional construction cost methods resulting from COVID-19, it is more important than ever that we start to look beyond traditional construction methods. Off-site and modular construction allows the delivery of projects to continue at a faster pace. The production and delivery of large-scale construction projects through modular construction will meet the enormous challenges of COVID-19. We will see significantly fewer operatives on site as they are replaced with construction workers in factory-controlled, safe working environments, producing modular pods and buildings more economically than traditional construction. There is no compromise in the quality of construction or, more importantly, the design quality and appearance of the completed project. Popular Homes award-winning C Plus W O'Brien Architects has built module units for a number of projects such as student housing and hotels, where each unit is often similar and repeatable. The units are built in the factory and then transported to the site and stacked together to create a student housing building or hotel, for example. The construction time is quicker and involves much less disruption, with high-quality design. And now, people are starting to see the benefits of choosing a modular unit, whether that's as their home or a home office. Local authorities in Dublin and elsewhere plan to build another 1,400 modular homes by 2023, with more to follow, according to the Department of Housing. Modular homes are becoming very popular, says Arthur, MHI a leading construction company in Ireland, has completed a site of modular homes in Dunshaw Lynn Co. Meath. In a matter of days, the houses were on-site. Dublin City Council and several approved housing bodies are putting out tenders for modular social housing, which is becoming very popular. C plus W O'Brien Architects are working to deliver some of these social housing modular projects. It's becoming easier to get modules, with many Irish and European factories creating them, and it's much safer during COVID-19, as there aren't as many people working on site. Arthur adds, even my sister-in-law has invested in a modular home. She decided to downsize from her own house into a two-bed modular unit in the back garden of her son and daughter-in-law's house. It's becoming very common. Planning with more people working from home Modular units are being used as home offices. According to the latest CSO Labor Force survey, the numbers reporting their home as the primary place of work had risen from less than 5p before the pandemic to almost 28p by November. However, Arthur advises anybody investing in a modular unit to research any planning permission requirements. According to the Citizens Information site, citizensinformation.e, Generally, you will not need planning permission for a garage or room built at the back or side of a house, so long as it does not extend out in front of the building line of the house and does not exceed 4 meters in height, if it has a tiled slash slated pitched roof, or 3 meters if it has any other roof type. This building will be exempt from planning permission once the floor area of all additional structures is limited to 25 square meters. Arthur says, in most circumstances, you do not need planning permission for a garden shed or garage, but it's vital to seek the advice of an architect, 
or at least speak to your local town planning office, particularly if you plan on living in the unit. The person who's producing your garden office or your garden outbuilding will also be able to tell you all the restrictions that apply. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.